Hello, I'm Eric Swenson and I'm a user experience designer. Uh, today's session we're going to be going over creating uh, donut charts in both Axure and Sketch and sort of the benefits of each tool. Uh, you can follow me on my blog, uh, on Twitter, or on YouTube. So to get started, um, we're going to jump right into Axure. And um, what we're going to be creating is pretty much um, examples of these donut charts here. So these are sort of visual representations of uh, just information that you would show up on a dashboard. Um, and Axure actually provides a pretty simple way of creating those. So we're going to be creating uh, this example here and also creating the same thing uh, within Sketch and identify sort of the, the differences there. So I just created this baseline uh, sketch on sort of what I wanted the uh, design to look like. So there are just four circles with different um, values for the percentages. Inside those circles, you'd have uh, sort of counts of how many people are accessing the Wi-Fi and what different locations. So um, here, I just have sort of a baseline framework. So a header, uh, some different panels, a footer. So the first thing that you'd want to do is just start drawing um, a circle. So here I have a circle, um, make it around uh, 220 pixels. Um, this is going to be your base of uh, your uh, circle. So the one thing that um, Axure provides is also uh, a way to change your uh, different types of uh, symbols. So here, or shapes, so here I'm going to just going to fill it in with uh, a light gray. So come in here. I'll also then duplicate that. So I'll use the control shift to duplicate it. And they have this unique shape um, right here. It looks like a Pac-Man. But what it does is it allows you to um, change the percentages of that. So if I were to make this a different color, let's change that to like a blue. You'll notice here I can drag and um, move these around and what this will do is it provides um, a way to show a different percentage based on that. Um, so if I make this, and we'll maybe make it like uh, 35%. Then from here, really what this is, is I'm just drawing out uh, the other part of the circle. And in this one, I'm going to make it white, sort of the same color as the background. And I'm then going to resize it and move this one back and then put it right in the middle. So this is probably too small. And then you can kind of just adjust it. But what's nice is now I can then come in here and change the percentages without actually having to redraw anything. So I can then group these, I can just select them all, and you can use your layer uh, list over here. And um, then as part of that, I can also um, come in and add some text. So here I probably wanna have 52, make it a little bit larger. I think we had users. And down below here we had locations. Line those to the center. Then I can just take all of these and group them, and clone it. And I'm trying to do this fast, but uh, normally make it look a little better. And then from here, um, if this you need to change the information, change uh, the content in here probably make this centered.
and then I can go ahead and change my percentages. Um, the nice thing about this also is if I were to move this, uh, at least one of these over into this area, I can easily change in the background color to match the background behind it. Change that to white. And then I can change the uh, fill color of this to be slightly different. So now you can see I can then just simply duplicate this and then again I can change the uh, different values pretty quickly. So the final product would look something like this um, and you can then just click into them, make updates, changes. I guess the hardest part is actually making sure you're clicking on the right um, component here. So that's in Axure and allows you to quickly and easily make those changes based on that. Um, I'm going to then switch over to Sketch. So in Sketch I have a very similar layout here. And what I'm going to do here is try to do the same thing. So within Sketch I go insert a shape. I can turn off the borders, provide a light gray. Now with Sketch, it's a, it's a lot different. There isn't a way to sort of have those dynamic shapes. So what I'm gonna have to do is um, I'll fill it in with a dark blue. Um, but when I go to edit the points on here, I'm gonna have to add in exactly where I want this point to um, fill in. So here, I'm gonna then move this into the center I'm going to then change the points here to be disconnected so that I can have a nice straight up and down. Also same here, disconnected. And this one disconnected so that I can kind of make this a straight line. It's a lot more drawing. Um, and then here I'm going to duplicate this one, um, resize it a little bit make it the same color as the background, and then bring it to the front. Oops. And you'll see we still have um, the same style, but if I wanted to change the percentage, I would actually have to redraw um, this shape here into what I want it to be. So I would have to, if I wanted to be less, I would have to double click on one of the shapes here. Try to move that. Change the fill. Disconnected. And as you can see, it's taking a lot longer than just what it was in Axure. Um, you can still do it, but it's just going to be a lot more manual of a process. Um, once you have that, again, you can easily put it over here. I can set the change to the background and then easily change the color to whatever you need it to be. So that's an example of uh, tools and um, the same, creating the same shapes um, within Axure and then Sketch. Um, as you can tell, uh, the one in Axure is a lot easier, but you do get a higher quality uh, within Sketch. Um, so it's something that you need to just weigh, you know, what is your preference and what is the tool, but ultimately you can get down to the same result. Thanks for watching.